Big up to Halifax. Big up Nova Scotia. That's where she's from. That's where I'm from. I'd be That's drinking do schooner if I could, babies. Being from Nova Scotia, we try to have certain dishes on the menu we are proud of that represent different parts of the maritime. Our smoked mackerel on oat cakes, the quintessential little snack. Smoked fish, some pickled shallots, crumb fresh. And just like the whole package together, you get like this smoky, sweet, sour, salty sort of concoction. We have these types of little menu items that we want to represent you know, the Maritimes with, and at the same time, people can always come back to get those dishes. You know, they're, they're sort of the mainstay here. Mm. My name is Jeff Hopgood, and I'm the chef and owner of Hopgood's Food Liner in Toronto. The idea for Hopgood's Food Liner actually came about when we were just sort of signing the lease and figuring out what we wanted to do. We started going through some old family artifacts, some slides and whatnot, and we decided to sort of resurrect an old family business name that my grandparents and their parents and stuff had for many, many years on the East Coast, which was a grocery store called Hopgood's Food Liner. Being from Nova Scotia, we really try to exude the best of what hospitality means in Nova Scotia. So if it's like being welcomed into your home, being welcomed into our restaurant with happy, inviting servers, as well as bringing the freshest seafood that we can get into Toronto. So here we got Cape Breton snow crab, with some little neck clams out of Rhode Island. We've got some Malpec oysters and cascom pecs, molasses bread, truffle mini net, house mingled horseradish, lemon, cocktail sauce, drawn butter, of course, the classic. Enjoy! It takes a bit of time to source that stuff out, but that's exactly what I love to do. And I just recall some of my best meals growing up as a kid being in the summer when we were closer to the ocean, you know, at a cottage or something and getting amazing scallops or haddock or lobster or digging for our own clams, you know. And, and, and so we just wanted to sort of bring that here. Octopus is almost ready. I'm trying to make the octopus look as crazy as it can with all of these garlic scapes and pickled pork sauces. All right. Here at Hopgoods, we have uh, sort of an eclectic mix of dishes that range from high end and, and what we like to, to sort of challenge ourselves with to sort of things that are a bit more um, low brow, casual, and, and fun. And uh, one of those is the Halifax Stone Airs. Here we go, we got the dirty Halifax Stone Airs coming up right now. This is our donair meat, made with pork and beef. Beautiful pitas, fluffiest in Toronto. It's all about the steam. All right, donairs are done. Steamy pitas, the typical snack you'd have after a night of drinking on the East Coast. That helps to absorb all the liquor. We sell quite a few of these. All right, so we're gonna finish these off with some chopped onion, chopped tomato, and the sweet, garlicky, a little bit tangy, donair sauce. So we serve it on the paper bag, just like it should be. It was kind of a joke, actually, because uh, Toronto was going through like a big taco craze, and we thought it was kind of funny to have the East Coast version. It's not a taco by any means, but it's on a flatbread. It's piled up with meat and a couple garnishes, and you know, the East Coast taco sort of thing. Everybody that works here is key. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Later. What we went out with last night was staff that have been here with me since the beginning or as close to the beginning. Everybody needs to get the proper food to the proper tables. Jessica does the expediting, which is a very demanding station on a Friday, Saturday night. Eric Bork, our manager here, makes fantastic cocktails, has a big passion for craft beer. And we have Ed Hanahan, who is one of my managers. He used to wash dishes for me at another restaurant that I worked at, so he's come a long way. Cheers. Welcome back, guys. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, this neighborhood used to be a Polish area. Now it's kind of changing, a bit more food oriented. There's lots of beautiful houses and lovely families around here. And uh, what we're trying to do here is bring fantastic food and a great restaurant to this neighborhood. The best thing about it, very little police. Very little police. We are <laughs> headed off to Chanteterre. We're going to see Johnny Poon and Jacob Shuckster. Johnny cooks great food and, and Jacob has great taste in wine and cocktails. And we're gonna go hit that place up and we're gonna eat the fuck out of that place. Oh, yeah. That's what we're gonna do right now because we are hungry. Oh. What did I eat for staff meal today? I had like a 
little bit of a frittata. I think I had one egg. I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the ride. I was just uh, bumping last night, like could not get a table, but we were very fortunate. Johnny Poo! Johnny Poo, everybody! Hey. Uh, I'm just getting ready to start. Yeah, we're just gonna get the food rolling. No, it's chill. The food we ate at Chanticleer last night was phenomenal, first of all. Johnny has a way of taking something very simple and making it extraordinarily beautiful. So we're gonna start them off with a bunch of like raw seafood and raw meat. Colville Bay oysters, you know, the best. Sea bream ceviche with like a green apple salad and a beef tartare with uh, peanuts and fish sauce. A side of shrimp chips and also the side of seaweed for uh, wrapping the beef tartare. Johnny also has this fantastic Chinese influence which he brings to mingle with French techniques or French type dishes. Typically you'd put it on a crustini or something like that in a French restaurant but wrapping it in the seaweed was a great touch. As well we had this uh, amazing uh, sea bream crudo with apple that was sliced to precision and looking gorgeous again. That is so good. Yeah, it's really delicious. It's like butter, it's like fucking butter. One of my favorite dishes was this side-striped shrimp. So here we have steamed uh, side-striped shrimp with a little bit of vermicelli dressed in uh, roasted garlic oil, a little bit of scallion. He just like poached them simply, cut them, looked like he used a laser or something because all of the eggs were still intact on both sides of the shrimp. See this? For all y'all that like caviar and a little bit of pop, he leaves the eggs in that for you. Jacob Shuckster and Johnny Poon. Great hospitality, very warm and inviting. Um, yeah, the food is awesome. The food is fucking delicious, dude. Like, that fucking side striped shrimp. Dude. Yeah, that shit is out of control, eh? That fucking shit is crazy, dude. That shit is crazy. I'll be there. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Jess, you're in the back. Come on, get in the back, man. So right now we're headed up to the junction. We're going to a place called Hole in the Wall, which is a young fella, Jack, and his brother, Ben, and uh, they opened up this bar. From what I know, Jack is a ph phenomenal cook. He actually worked at Joe Beef in uh, Montreal. Every time I go to this bar, I'm like, why don't I go to this bar every day? That's what I, that's what I think. Each neighborhood needs great restaurants, they need great bars. They need to be able to stay within their neighborhood because as the city grows, the less you want to travel through it. You know, it's just the way it is. I think the Junction has amazing potential to be one of those next big neighborhoods in Toronto. I mean, already you see a number of restaurants opening there and from what I hear, they, they actually do very well. What's all this, baby? Uh, Come on! Watermelon and ribs. Come on. What? Chicken wings? What? Chicken fried chicken? Eggs. Chicken fried rabbit. Rabbit? Took the skin off the chicken legs, wrapped it around the rabbit, sous vide it, set it, breaded it, fried it, put a, like a honey orange mustard sauce over the top, and a absinthe compressed watermelon salad. Watermelon salad? Like, like, condenses it. What? What? Need a wet nap. I'll tell you what, that shit's delicious. It's a great spot. Definitely a reason to go check out the junction as well. See you in a little bit? Yeah. All right, gonna do a lobster luge, baby. All right. All right, let's go. We're wrapping up. Let's go. That's what's gonna happen. Cause what's up? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we are headed out of <laughs> hole in the wall. <laughs> Do you know where we're headed right now? Do you know what we have in store for you? I heard some fucking random rumors. Some lobster luge. What's some a lobster luge? I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe that shit just got like invented straight up. It's all downhill from here. Uh, downhill in your throat. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's so rough. That's sort of, like rough at best. Because luges are like. I know, I know. I know what you were going for, but. Where are we right now? This is where we want to be right now. Here? All right. And what? What? Oh. We're 
in the back room here at Food Liner, and this is our oyster shack. We do private parties back here for people that want to feast on seafood. We're in the world! Motherfuckers here! Jean Claire! Best meal I've had! Some of the things you might find that are typical here would be, you know, lobster and snow crab and oysters and clams. Basically anything the client would like, we will try to source and supply here. So if it's live scallops, whatever it is, that's the exciting thing about this room. So for seafood lovers, it's fantastic. There's a couple times we've had parties back here, but I think that this one actually took the cake. Lots of seafood and lobster luges. Lobster luge! <laughs> getting kind of messy, but uh, all in good fun. Oh, I just want to say right now, as a testament, as a testament to these people that have been with me from fucking thick and thin, from fucking hard times and good times, restaurant times. Every fucking daytime, so you know what I'm talking about? You people, you're the best. And the friends that we have in Toronto are fucking fantastic. The food scene in Toronto is fucking going up and up and up. And I'm just fucking happy that we're here. Okay.